everyone welcome to the science stuff today we are going to be learning about the phylum platyhelminthes which is a part of the large kingdom animalia so let's get right into it the word platyhelminthes was derived from the greek words platys which means flat and helminthes which means worm they are bilaterally symmetrical and elongated in this planarian this would be the approximate line of symmetry they are dorsoventrally flattened animals commonly called flatworms the term dorsoventrally flattened means that the body is flat from both surfaces lower and upper the term dorsoventral by itself means extending along or having to do with the axis that connects the dorsal and ventral sides here dorsal refers to the back or posterior of the organism while ventral refers to the front of the organism digestive system when present bears a single opening the mouth and anus is absent here you can see the location of the mouth in this worm you can see that it takes in the food and also gives out the wastes acting as an anus these animals are triploblastic which means that they have three germ layers namely the ectoderm the mesoderm and the endoderm as seen here they are the first animals where the primary germ layers are present that is the mesoderm has arrived in the phylum coelentrata only the ectoderm and the endoderm are present and in this phylum phylum platyhelminthes the mesoderm has arrived these flatworms bodies can be soft and leaf like like a liver fluke or ribbon like as seen in tapeworms respiration occurs by general body surface where the gases diffuse across the body wall circulatory system is absent excretory organs are in the form of flame cells flame cells are specialized excretory cells they function like a kidney removing waste materials bundles of flame cells are called protonephridia here you can see the structure of a flame cells flatworms are invertebrates most of these flatworms are parasites like tapeworms but some are free living forms parasites bear spines hooks or suckers as you can see in this diagram of a tapeworm now let's look at the reproduction in these organisms Reproductive organs are highly developed. Most of them are hermaphrodites, which means that both male and female reproductive organs are present in the same individual. Fertilization is internal. Organisms like planarians also asexually reproduce through fission and fragmentation. Now let's see the nervous system of these animals. Flatworms of the phylum Platyhelminthes have both a central nervous system made up of a small brain and two nerve cords and a peripheral nervous system containing a system of nerves that extend throughout the body. Now let's see some examples of some genera in this phylum Platyhelminthes. First we have Dugesia which is a planarian then we have Fasciola we have Schistosoma which is also called as blood fluke and another example which i'm sure you've heard of is Stenia or tapeworm then there's Pseudocerros and Thysanozoon You have now reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have learned something new about the phylum Platyhelminthes. Please like, share and subscribe 
and comment down below on the topic you would like me to do next. And you're watching the science stuff.